Mode set. Executing. What's up gamers, it's your boy CDROM1019. Welcome to our fifth foray into the world of Monkey Island. Today we're beginning Tales of Monkey Island, Episode 1, Launch of the Screaming Narwhal. Alright, I'm excited. Let's check our settings really quick. Good, good, looking good, looking awesome. All the way up for your viewing pleasure. Okay, I'm super excited, I hope you are too. This is the first of five, uh, of five episodes for one giant Tales of Monkey Island, or, or one giant Monkey Island experience. This was, I believe, uh, this is a LucasArts property developed by Telltale Games. Um, so this will be interesting. It might be a little different from what you've seen from me so far. I'm ready. Let's do this. Yeah, LucasArts. Deep in the Caribbean. Legendary 13th monkey of Montevideo, whose sacrifice will eternally bind the oceans themselves to my infernal will. Arr, arr. Impressed yet? Not half as much as I'll be when Guybrush guts your diseased carcass with his voodoo cutlass, you doddering sack of scum. I wouldn't hold your breath waiting for any last minute heroics, me dear. The last I saw of your mighty pirate husband, he was being torn apart by a school of my ravenous piranha poodles. All right, LeChuck, put down the monkey and back away from my wife. Guybrush! Arr, three four. You've led me a merry chase, but soon the dread mysteries of these ancient simians will be mine. <laughs> and the seas will run red with the blood of my enemies. Har, har, har. Yeah, well, quite like a... No time to waste, Guybrush. Finish enchanting that sword before LeChuck completes his spell. I'm on it. One LeChuck defeating cursed Cutlass of Kaflu coming up. Yep. Now, where did I leave those handy voodoo instructions? They're pinned to your mast. Oh, yeah. Okay, really quick. I think my game audio is up way too high. Uh, let me see if I can do a quick adjustment to turn that down. Does that make it better? Oh, I think it does. Okay. Alright, cool. Let me get a read on that. Alright, so Guybrush is back, sporting another new look. Or a look that's reminiscent of Monkey Island 2. Okay. Uh, oh, I can move with the mouse. That's interesting. Or I can move with the keys. All right. So we need this voodoo recipe. Well, I had to sail six of the seven major seas to find the ingredients, but I finally finished the cutlass. Almost. Now all I need to do is find some fizzy root beer to spray on it and let Chuck's as good as toast. Nicky disease toast. Okay. So he's already stolen 37 ounce of bloodstained silver. He's gotten the ultimate insult. That's, uh, ain't that a throwback. Uh, he's got a Midas diamond and a voodoo doll. Uh, we just need to grab some enchanted root beer. The root beer must be fizzy. Uh, we've already combined the first four ingredients to create the cutlass. We just gotta spray the cutlass. So, we should have some fizzy root beer. Ooh, I gotta get used to this walking system. Uh, let's see. Ah, the legendary monkey casket of Kauai. I'll never forget the horrible hula of Hades I had to do to get this thing. Is this thing sloshing? More words you don't want to hear when you pick up a pocket. <laughs> that I do not. Okay, so 
inventory. Here we go. So. Uh, that's not right. Whoops. So he said it's sloshing. So I believe that means that. How do I open this thing? Oh, select the magnifying glass. Okay, that's what I'm doing wrong. Close inventory. Where is? Oh, here it is. I wonder how you open this thing. Aha! A salty bottle full of root beer. I haven't seen one of these since before I had a beard. Bet this stuff will work wonders on my cutlets. Okay, let's take this root beer. Uh, I gotta place it here and then take this and let's combine that. All right, time to give this cutlass a root beer shower. I have root beer. What kind of second-rate voodoo seltzer bottle has flat root beer? Well, that's a problem. The root beer's flat. Um, hmm. That has to be very fizzy root beer. Well, what should we do about it? Oh, there's some breath mints. Well, you ever see the uh, videos on YouTube about Mentos and Coke? Same principle applies, I believe. There we go. All right, now let's do it. Prepare to meet your frosty carbonated maker, LeChuck. Again, she okay. says. No problem. I just need to find a fresh supply of impossible to find voodoo root beer. I sure hope there's some on Elaine's ship, because mine is dry as a bone. And not one of those wet bones. I'm talking a dry, dry bone. Good to know, uh, Guybrush. Okay, so let's look around here. Can I go into the quarters? Probably not, but. Nothing in there but a decade's worth of fantastic pirate booty. Okay, so no. So let's look around over here. See if Elaine's got an idea. I think I can talk to her. Elaine, my beautiful butter. What? I said, Elaine, my beautiful butter. Uh, beautiful butter? I was gonna say buttercup, but you keep cutting me off. Oh, guy brush. That's not the jackal. We're all dead. Uh, let's see. Throw me a rope. Elaine, you've got inordinately strong thighs. See if you can swing me that rope. It's not long enough, but I've got a better idea. Well, that is a better idea. How do you do that? You don't spend several years at the side of Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate, without picking up a few tricks, do you? My ship, my booty, my collection of autographed sextants. We'll buy you some more sextants later. Just stop the chuck. Ah, Threepwood. So fame as your angles. Saves me the trouble of having to sink your ship. That's a ninja sex party joke. Some of you probably won't get it. Okay, so let's see. She's got grog, gunpowder. I don't think I can go in here. Uh, I can't change the camera, so I'm going to have to get used to this. Chuck the plant. Ooh, roots, huh? I need roots for root beer. Take better care of your plants, Elaine. This one's roots are bursting right out of its pot. I've been meaning to get around to it, but as you can see, I've been a bit busy. Okay, well, let's see. Let's take this cutlass to chuck the plant. Let's see if we can cut back some of those unruly roots. There, much neater. The only thing I can see that we're going to make root beer out of this with is this grog over here. Let's take our root, put it in our barrel. This root grog is bland, joyless, and jejune. It's also flat. Hmm. Sounds familiar. It's a light grog with a bunch of roots in it. Root grog, if you will. Well, it's the only substitute we're going to get, so let's take this, make it fizzy. Now that's some fizzy root grog. I bet it still tastes like monkey snot, though. Well, again, ain't root beer, but it's what we got. Okay, you barrel of disgusting locale goo. Make yourself useful. Who 
Booyah! Look out, LeChuck. Here comes Guybrush Threepwood's glowing sword of hot monkey vengeance. Well, again, that's something. Let's, uh... And it's yeah. not only something, but it's all we got. Ow. Well, that was stupid of me. I'm just curious really quick. Can I... No, I can't. All right, that would have been fun. All right, let's be smart about this this time. Chuck, do you mind? I be in the middle of an unholy ceremony here. Unholy this. Oof. Unholy this? Yeah, I know, but he didn't give me much to work with. Hey. Arr, arr. You can't defeat me that easily, sheep. Wait. What's happening? Is that how the cutlass is supposed to work? I don't know. It's so bright. What the heck? Woof. I, uh, I'm human. That's debatable. Mm. Rush, quick. Finish him off. Well, that doesn't seem right. Oh, right. This is for the monkeys, LeChuck. That also doesn't seem right. Oh, that's right. I forgot that Guybrush is left-handed. At least I think he is. Guybrush? <laughs> oh, Guybrush. Based on characters created by Ron Gilbert. Not that anybody cares, but I got my uh, Monkey Island anthology from Limited Run Games recently, so I'm playing off this copy. I'm really happy with it. It's really cool. I gotta play with uh, some of the stuff that I got sometime. Sucking back a grog in. Oop. No, Whoops. My dote! My beautiful pirate dote! I'll get you for this, you craven build rat! Sorry. I don't know what got into me. Well, that's a oh, shame. This can't be good. You know, you really should have that look, that kid. Huh? The name's Nippikin. Davy Nippikin. Senior reporter, Keel Hollow Gazette. Welcome to Flotsam Island. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Actually, I. Right. What's your name, where'd you come from, and how'd you get here? Oh, the paparazzi. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, and... Pirate, eh? Well, I believe it when I see it, kid. Still, it'd be nice to have a real genuine pirate buckling his swash around Flotsam Island again. Um... Why, I haven't had an honest-to-goodness pirate story to write about in over six months. You're right. Yes, sir, Bob. Nothing like the promise of a good pirate story to get the old journalistic juices flowing again, says hey. I. Hey! <clears throat> Just listen to me prattling on while you stand there all wet and confused and whatnot. So, what's your story, Creepwood? <sighs> this island looks, uh, lovely, but where can I find a ship? I really need to get back to the Rock of Gelato and find my wife. Well, there's only one ship here on Flotsam Island, but it won't do you any good. Why not? It's the winds, Creepwood, the winds! Here on Flotsam Island, the winds are always blowing inward 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It's a freak of nature, a fluke, a curse. Whatever you want to call it, <clears throat> the result is the same. Once you've landed on Flotsam Island, you're trapped. Are you seriously telling me there's no way off this island? 
Well, not by ship, anyway. The only person who I think might know a way off the island is Deep Gut. That's awful. Uh, okay. <laughs> Elaine's mother is here. Deep Gut? What's a Deep Gut? Deep Gut's my secret source for off-island news stories. And it's a good thing, too. Without the Gut's uncanny inter-island scoops, the Keelhaula Gazette would never be able to compete with those snooty prima donnas over at the Flats and Times. Island news? Hey, then he might know something about Elaine. Where can I find this deep gut? Hold on a second, pirate boy. <clears throat> David J. Nippikin doesn't go handing over his secret sources to every Tom, Dick, and Guy brush that washes ashore. But I can pay you with treasure from my ship, which is probably at the bottom of the ocean by now. Look, kid, you seem like a nice enough pirate, so I'll make you a deal. Okay. What kind of a deal? A deal? Yeah. <laughs> all well, these news is nice options. All, but the fair citizens of Flotsam are getting tired of stories about faraway lands they'll never see again. Not to mention that I hate being beholden to this deep gut person. So? So I need some nice, meaty, local pirate news. I love making pirate news. That's the spirit, kid. If you can translate that moxie into news-making pirate mayhem, I'll hand you deep gut on a silver platter. You don't say. Yeah, this will be a snap. A snap. A snap. Ow! <laughs> okay, better get that hand looked at. Alright, launch of the Screaming Narwhal. Okay, game is saved. Let's begin. Club 41. And what else we got here? Keith Keel Hauler. I think this is the... Oh, this is the Gazette, so... If I talk to hey, you hey, again... Call me Nipikin, kid. Everyone else does. I'd rather not. Right? <laughs> so, what sorts of swashbuckling do you go in for around these parts? Oh, we used to love all sorts of piracy here on Flatsom. Barely a day would go by without a good bar fight. Ship season, a buried treasure cropping up. Now it seems like all anyone wants to do is hang around and wait for the winds to change. Well, leave it to me and your sleepy little hamlet will be bubbling over with buccaneering boisterousness before you know it. I've still got some questions about those acts of piracy. Fire away, kid. I'm a font of information. What do you want to know? Uh, let's see. Where should I look for treasure? Where should I look for treasure on this island? There used to be all kinds of buried treasures in Flotsam's jungles. But they've been pretty much tapped out. If I were you, I'd look for an established pirate treasure hunter to give you a hand. Hmm. Okay. And I can get a help. Won't How? Won't a pirate treasure hunter to find a treasure kind of mess up the story? Nah. If anything, it'll make it more authentic. I can see it now. New arrival helps famed pirate treasure hunter bag biggest booty ever. Okay, uh, how am I supposed to start a brawl? Where does a pirate go to start a bar fight on this island? Well, the only bar around here is Club 41. Good luck starting a fight in that joint. You run a pretty tight ship over there, you know what I mean? Hmm, okay. Where can I seize a, sh what kind a of ship? Are there to seize on Flotsam Island? We've only got one ship on Flotsam, the Screaming Narwhal. It hasn't been seized in years. Hmm, okay. I'm drawing a blank. I hate it when that happens. Uh, all right. You're clearly not going to tell me how to contact your source, so I guess I'll just leave. I'm rooting for you. Hmm. Jail. Doesn't look like anybody's in there. Courthouse. Let's keep taking a look around here. Well, blow me down, glassworks. Hmm. That's peculiar. Alphabet sale. Free vowels while supplies last. <laughs> okay. It's locked. Well, guess I ain't going in there. And let's see what this is over here. The doctor is busy. Doctor. Okay. Crummy sconce. Uh, I'd better pick this up before someone notices, um, trips over it. Hmm. 
I don't know what I'm possibly going to do with this. I know you're supposed to stop and smell the flowers, but this pot looks like someone's taken it a wee bit too literally. Okay, well. No, not, not the sure swordfish. Late Rococo or early creepy. Okay, well. Let's keep looking around. Oop, get this right. There we go. And what's over here? Holy screaming starfish! I think I've just found my ride off this stinking island. Not so fast, my well-coiffed friend. Who? Reginald Van Winslow, captain of the Screaming Narwhal. And you are? Guybrush Threefoot, mighty pirate. Oh, really? What can I do for you, Mr. Mighty Pirate? Hmm, well, I do need the ship. Heave to and strike your colors. I've come to seize your ship. You have? Jolly good. No one's been man enough to take the screaming novel for over two years. Huh. He's got a really good attitude for someone who's about to lose his ship. Uh, why are you happy about it? Why are you so happy about me seizing your ship? I love a good challenge. Curds the mind and sharpens the loins, don't you know? Huh? I don't know, think that's how that works. Uh. Nice ship. Were you drunk when you built it? <laughs> Good one, Boyo. But I didn't build the screaming narwhal. It was assembled by a committee of concerned flotsam citizens. Were they drunk? No, but they had to use whatever floated ashore. Hence, the aforementioned constructed by Sot's look. Hmm. Okay. Well, if you didn't build the narwhal, why are you the captain? By tradition, whoever knocks the captain of the screaming narwhal off the deck gets to be the captain until he's knocked off by the next guy. So all I have to do is knock him off, huh? Uh-huh. How'd you end up on Flotsam? Same as everyone else here, lad. The winds! I was chasing some brigand that had stolen my hard-earned booty when all of a sudden Flotsam's capricious winds picked up my ship shredded it to bits and plunked me down here on her bounteous shores. Okay, well... Be seeing ya. I look forward to it. So we need to try to knock him off the ship. Uh, and it sounds like it's been here for a while. A plank. Prepare to be boarded then, Winslow. Bacon grease, boyo. Slickest stuff in the seven seas. Oh, crud. This jacket was an anniversary present. And now it's all covered with bacon grease. Man, is Elaine going to be P.O.'d? <laughs> Get it? Anniversary present because that's the look he had in uh, Monkey Island 2. All right. Well, clearly that ain't going to work. Uh, let's see. How about... <laughs> oh, dang. Hmm. And now the dock is smoldering. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Bet you that could be useful somehow. And couldn't help but notice. Sheer, sexy, and playful, with plenty of support for the active pirate. Not what I wanted to click on. Ali Yoop. Uh oh. Hey. Hmm. Okay, so we've got three ways on and they're all covered. Uh, probably going to need something else. Let's come back. Oh, hello. Curator's in. Scruffy artisan, I'm Guybrush Streetwood, mighty pirate. Oh, yourself. I be Gaffer Crimp Digit, pirate glassblower. You're a pirate glassblower? How'd a crusty pirate like yourself wind up making little glass unicorns? Listen, matey. Glass blowing's every bit as dangerous as sailing the Spanish main. One false move with your glass jack near the glory hole, and you can kiss your eyeballs goodbye. I can? I'm not sure that's biologically possible. Uh, unicorns, huh? So, unicorns, huh? Aye, graceful, delicate creatures they are. Though, to be honest, they aren't selling so well to the pirate community at large. For my next project, 
Maybe I'll be making something that really speaks to them. So many I can ever settle these blasted horny fuckers. Uh, okay. What can you tell me about the island? What can you tell me about Flotsam Island? Well, you probably already know about Flotsam Infernal Winds. But has anyone told you about the reefs? The reefs? Aye, the crystal reefs of Flotsam Island. Sharper than a dragon's tooth, they be. They encircle the island, shredding in a ship foolish enough to get caught in Flotsam's winds. Yikes. Hmm. What about the alphabet sale? What's this alphabet sale all about? Well, it's the latest thing. I make unbreakable tubes in the shapes of letters, which can be used to create festive, illuminated business signs, novelty mementos, or lamps. Kitchy. Aye, very cap. Consonants cost 48 pieces of eight. But today I'm giving away one free vowel per customer. Would you like a vowel? Uh, sure. I think I'd like one of those free vowel tubes. You'd like to buy a vowel, eh? Here you go. A U? What about A, E, I, O? Or even Y? All sold out. All we got is YouTubes these days. Ha <laughs> ha, get it? YouTube? Okay. Uh, let's see. Well... Thanks for chatting, but I got a wife and arch nemesis to return to. Aye, who doesn't? <laughs> hmm. I don't quite know what I'm gonna do with this yet. Wasn't there a... I thought there was a cannon around here I could play with. Hey. Can I enter the Gazette? It's locked. Nope. No one allowed in there but Keelhaul or employees, Leapwood. You're thinking of becoming a reporter? Oh, heck no. Okay, guess that's off the... Off, uh... Off the table. What about Club 41? Odd. Card? What card? Hmm. That ain't happening either. Okay. What's the sign say? Attention. Club 41, Flotsam Island's most prestigious pirate organization, is no longer accepting new applications for membership. Thank you for your continued interest, and please go away. Ugh, oh, that stinks. Looks like I'm gonna need somebody else's card to get into the club. How about the courthouse? Hmm, I guess court isn't in session today. Which is probably a good thing, considering all the laws I'll be breaking. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. Owing to the unprecedented downturn in criminal activity on Flotsam Island, I've locked up the courthouse and taken a long-delayed three-month sabbatical. Please don't break any laws until I return, or else. Sincerely, Judge Grindstone. Huh. Interesting. Alright. A flyer. Pirates plundering your palace? Buccaneers bashing your balustrades? Swashbucklers slicing your stomachs? Then you need Morgan Le Flay, Pirate Hunter par excellence. Hmm. Great, a pirate hunter. I need that like I need a fourth nipple. A fourth? Are you saying you have a third? It's locked. Arr, the only people allowed in the studio are me, myself, and I... All right. Well, I guess nowhere else to go but this away. It, this this away. Three vowels. Get him while they're vowels. Hmm. Oh boy. Hmm. A portly pirate playing with dolls. Hey, now I think I've seen everything. But we'll continue to see more of everything next week on the Grand Star Legion. Thank you for joining me this week, everybody. Make sure you check out the rest of the GSL socials and the YouTube Rangers forums. And if you haven't had enough of me, you can check me out at twitch.tv slash chaos control channel, streaming whenever I can. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next week for more Tales of Monkey Island, launch of the Screaming Narwhal. Take care. Bye-bye.